Welcome to Ready Set Virtual. Um, today we're going to set up a nested uh, virtual data store, iSCSI data store. Um, we're using OpenFile for this, um, nested inside uh, VMware Workstation uh, 10. Um, so basically, um, I've started already by um, creating my virtual machine. Um, I've got a 13 gig hard, you, you set these as um, whatever you want. I've just set the bare minimum of, of one gig memory and uh, two gig processor. You don't really need too much. Um, I use mine just for practicing setting up uh, ones and data stores. I don't run um, any VMs off it uh, unless I'm doing storage for your motion for a little bit. Um, however, um, so let's just get started. Um, I've basically got yeah, one gig of RAM, two processors. Um, I've got two separate hard drives. Um, this 13 gig one uh, will be the OS hard drive. And then I've set up um, just this 120 gig as, uh, as another drive. Um, so that, that's where our data store will sit. Um, so that's sitting on, a, on another spindle um, in my machine. Um, however, uh, we're you just need one network adapter. I had a second one here as I was playing around with different VLANs and, and that, so uh, we don't actually need that, so I'll get rid of that for now. Um, and then, yeah, just mount your CD drive um, with the open filer ISO. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm just going to power my machine um, and boot to CD-ROM drive. All right, once we're on the... Um, the GUI page, just press enter to start the graphical mode. Um, it only takes a second to load as we're using just an ISO. Alright, once we're in the GUI, just go, just click next, um, select your language, uh, obviously English for myself, um, yes to erasing all data. Um, so I'll, the only one that we want to use is just you the smaller drive with our 13 gig drive um, and yes we want to remove all partitions and and create a new layout um, just make sure that your boot drive is set for your 13 gig and then just go next uh, yes we want to erase all um, here we just need to put in our um, our management uh, port IP um, so I'm just using uh, class C um, IP because it's just on my home network um, but you can you can also set up a private um, network for your ESXi host just to talk on a separate network um, from your production uh, it's up to you but this is just a um, just, just for testing and playing around with, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, so just put in your domain and what you're going to call it. I'm just going to call it openfiler.readysetvirtual.com, uh, my gateway, so um, my DC is my primary DNS, secondary is just my router. Um, select your location and just put in a root password and that's it and then from there just wait until it's installed um, I'll just pause here for a minute and we should be back in a second all right that's installed um, one thing I did forget to mention was at the end of the installation it will ask you to reboot um, so you just click the reboot button and it will um, it'll start up um, so once we're in, we get uh, this nice um, interface, where just uh, the shell interface. Um, so if we just have a look, you can see that the IP address of um, the management port, the web administration GUI, uh, is here. It's got this um, strange um, port on the end for it, for, for its secure port, but uh, that's okay. We can work with that. Um, so if we just go straight to 
uh, Internet Explorer uh, and go to that address. Um, I've already got it in there, so we'll just slide to there. Um, the only thing I d don't like about open file is it's a, a little bit slow on the web GUI, but um, but apart from that, it's it's quite quick when um, when working with it in um, your ESXi environment. Um, so this is a little bit slow here. Once you click um, continue to the website, um, you can see that it's just just loading now. All right. Once we are in, it's um, the default username and password is just open filer and password we just log in with that um, we're presented with uh, a nice splash screen um, of, of details about your your machine um, that it's running on um, there's a, a lot of detail here um, your network usage straight up um, gives you an idea of your in installed devices um, and then some uh, little bit more detail down the bottom. Um, but at, for the moment, you, you can have a browse through that, but for the moment, we'll just uh, go ahead and create our iSCSI targets. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is go up to services um, and then just make sure that your uh, iSCSI initiator is enabled and then started. And then you've got your iSCSI target, just enable that and start as well. Once your iSCSI initiator and target is uh, running, just go up over to volumes now. And you can see that um, it wants us to create a new volume as there aren't any in there at the moment. So if we just go create volume or create a new physical volume, um, and under there you'll see um, your two drives. So there's our OS boot drive, um, and then there's our data store drive. So if we just click on edit disk for the data store drive, um, we can see all the details here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, make it a primary physical volume. Um, you can do a right away member, but um, I've only just got the one um, for the moment. So uh, if you want to do RAID, you can create multiple virtual hard drives um, inside uh, VMware workstation, but at the moment we'll just go with uh, the one physical drive. So just click on create. Um, this should only take a, take a minute if I actually click on it. Uh, we can see it's loading. Uh, there we go, it's created. Um, now if we head over towards add volume um, and we just want to add uh, that 114 gig that we've just created um, and then just go add volume group uh, actually it will probably help if I put a name in there so I'll just call it uh, VG1 so volume group 1 I'm going to add that disk back into it now once that's created there we go, we can see it here. Um, you can view the members, so if uh, this was a, a RAID group, so if you had RAID 0, RAID 1 with two drives, you'd see both drives in here, or RAID 5, you'd see three, uh, and so on. Um, so that's there. Now we need to head over to iSCSI targets. Um, this one, you can create your um, iSCSI name, um, the target name, whatever you want to call it. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go add. We'll use what's there. Um, now, if I head down, it should be all good. Um, shouldn't have to change anything here. Um, usually, if this is uh, like a EMC or a Dell SAN um, or three par, uh, whoever, um, the vendor will give you the specifics, and they'll all be there. Uh, whoops. Um, so they will tell you what, what these need to be if you need to set these in ESXi or um, but that, sh that should be all good. So once we've um, created our iSCSI target um, address we just go across to uh, I believe 
add volume again yes and then head down we just need to give this a, a name so I'm just going to call it data store uh, volume group um, you can call it whatever you want so data store VG again um, and then just the size that you want to create that one uh, that one um, so I'm just going to go with uh, 70 70 odd gig um, it's going to be a block size as we're using this for iSCSI and fiber channel um, but we're not using fiber channel this time just iSCSI so just select your block create so it'll now show you a pretty picture of uh, what is used by that um, that one that we just set up um, now we just have to map it um, so if we go across to uh, iSCSI targets one mapping uh, we will see it there um, this is the one we just created um, you got your different modes right through is generally um, recommended straight up um, just depends on what your uh, sand requires again um, or what sort of tasks you you're going to be using whether you got databases um, so SQL or Exchange or anything so um, anything that needs to write small data sometimes uh, it, it just depends so um, find that one out uh, so we just want to block IO um, and then just quick map and there we go um, the target is set up now we've just got to uh, go into vSphere so once we're in our um, vSphere server, uh, we just go um, across to hosts and clusters. Now we just select our host um, and manage storage. I'm already here. Um, if you haven't already, you need to add the adapter, um, iSCSI software adapter. You can just do it by clicking on the plus sign um, here and it will uh, just take you through a short wizard now we just need to go down to targets and static um, it's already found dynamically found um, the iSCSI sitting there um, you can also put it in statically um, so I would just add in the 192.168.1.190 the port uh, we didn't change so it will be uh, 3260 and the iSCSI name um, is uh, that iSCSI address back on the um, inside open file but we can um, copy that um, and copy and paste that in there um, otherwise that's it um, and from there you can go ahead and create your, um, your data stores and um, start using it for your VMs I um, hope this has been informative for you um, and please leave any comments or anything um, at the bottom of this video and um, that would be appreciated and anything you'd like to see um, please also mention that. Uh, Alright, thank you.